There's a lot of code to follow in this course, and I really encourage you to try it yourself. Type the code into your Mac. See it work, run it back, experiment if you have the time, so you really understand what's happening. In order to follow along, you've got to install Xcode 13 or later from the Mac App Store. It is free from Apple. To install it now, go to the Apple menu and choose App Store. In the window that appears, search for Xcode. Then look for a Get button for Xcode. I've got it installed already, so I'm seeing open. I should say it's quite big, it might take a while to download. Once it's ready, go ahead and launch Xcode. I want to make a place we can put our code as we experiment with Swift. The best place for that is to go to the File menu and choose New, then select Playground. These are fantastic little interactive sandboxes. There are various options for how to make your playground. I would like you to choose Mac OS, then blank. Not because we're making Mac OS apps, because we are not making Mac OS apps in this course. Just that Mac OS playgrounds are the simplest and fastest ways to learn the Swift language quickly. So press next and save it somewhere like your desktop. And this is our playground. Now, it's, as you can see, it's split into three vertical panes. This left hand one is doing nothing in our playground. You won't need it at all. So you can hide it by pressing this button right here. This right hand one, the light gray one, that shows output from our program as it runs. I recommend you grab this little divider and make it bigger so you can see more of it. Other than that, you're good to go. We'll be using this playground in all the examples as you follow along until I tell you otherwise in the future. But please, please do follow along. Give it a try, run it back, and you'll learn much more. I should say one little tip, the first time you run your playground, it might take a few seconds to warm up. Afterwards, it should be lightning fast.